Welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to do the post-mortem on the Dana 41 that got pulled out of the Jeep a couple videos back and we're going to see what the insides look like compared to last time. Well after degreasing and pressure washing it looks about like what you'd expect. This is in better shape than the one that's in it was when I first got it. All I really did was make sure the vent holes were open and that the grease cirques were clear enough to get some new grease in there. Then I drained and refilled the differential. I opened it up just to look around. I noted that there was quite a bit of backlash, uh, more than there probably should be. But I didn't know what I didn't know at the time. So I kind of just sealed it back up, refilled it, and moved on. But I want to throw some video in here of what that looked like, I guess, a couple of years ago. And uh, we'll see how it compares now. I'm just. There is no preload whatsoever on this. Ooh. But let's see what it was in the past. Well, it's, um, it's not as rusty and, and destroyed as I was expecting, I guess. I just, I expected it to be way worse, I guess. But I'm a complete novice at this, so I don't even really know what I'm looking at. I mean, I know what I'm looking at, but you know, yeah. I don't know if this has been replaced or what, or really how to identify what it is. With that past video in mind, I've got the drain here just in case there's still some residual oil. Let's see what it looks like now. And I'm going to learn my lesson from last time and not put my phone anywhere near this just in case it decides to roll. It doesn't cut threads, but it will clean them up. And it's doing quite well. Well, it looks like there was still some oil left in there. Oops. That is what was coming out. Very shiny, very glittery. Not good. glued that on pretty good, didn't I? All right, let's see what we got. Well, I guess I didn't realize there was so much pitting on these teeth and that one looks pretty rough. You can see the old oil line still, wow. But this is from the days when people were like, uh, they would comment and just say, oh, just send it, it'll run. And I kind of took that to heart when I should have spun this around a little bit more and really looked at it. Everything's nice and polished, but uh, there are some pits on these teeth. Plenty of rust. That is what I would call some pretty catastrophic pitting on that. Um, I shouldn't have been running this. That just kind of tells me I don't have a plan B axle still. I was hoping I could just throw this one back together and be done. I can see the pattern pretty clearly. I bet you can't, but it's pretty much on the inside only about that far. What's the coast side look like? Well, that is the coast side. What's the drive side look like?
Mm. It's more on the outside, on the drive side. Or on the coast side. Which one? The curved side? This is the drive side, that's the coast side. So yeah, the coast side is the, the loud side. It's more out here towards the heel, but the drive side's in towards the toe. Spider gears at least look pretty dang good. Eh, uh, there is some pitting on a few of these teeth too. Spider gears I don't think matter as much. Well, I guess after seeing this, I have more questions than answers because what came out of this was actual chunks of metal. And I don't see any chunks missing here, aside from just rust pitting on the teeth faces. Yeah. I was driving on that. I mean, it'll run, it'll just be loud, I guess. But yeah, there were, there were chunks of metal coming out of it when it was initially drained. Maybe it was flakes of rust, I don't know, but... I'm not seeing where they might have come from unless they came from a bearing, which given the lack of preload on the pinion, that could be where. Well, let's see what the braces look like that I was driving on 450 miles. Ugh. I was driving on that, guys. So I keep hearing and reading like when, uh, when someone like me, who doesn't know a lot about vintage Jeeps, goes and buys one and tries to get into the hobby, uh, a bunch of people will just say, change the oil and go run it. Grease it up and go run it. Um, here's your cautionary tale as to why you don't do that. You actually need to go through things and look it over. I bet the other side is just as bad. Yeah, look, it looks like it's gonna be about the same. Whew. Pitted, brindled, no good. I was driving on these like it was nothing. I bet this axle was getting pretty hot. Someone else has been in here too, I guess. These are, these are Bowers like the other one was, not the original Timkins. Oof. I don't know if this camera's gonna do it justice. The good news is that the surface for the seal rides is pretty good compared to the other ones. Minor pitting, but those will clean up. Unlike these other ones I have sitting over here in the corner. I was trying to figure out where all the chunks of metal were coming from. I guess it's rust off of these axles. There's just so much of it. That makes a lot more sense since I'm not seeing any missing teeth on that. Thought it might be fun to see what the backlash was on this poor old thing, just for reference. That's about 12 and a half, 13. Uh, yikes, so a little bit out of spec, but Given what it's been through, can you blame it? Well, let's see what we got here.
All right, uh, come on out. Uh, that sure came out easy compared to the junk one that's in the Jeep now. Real easy. Yeah, real easy. Hmm. Of the races to be shot, I would expect these to be the ones. And sure enough, Grinnold, as expected. These are also Bowers. Ooh, these, uh, the bearing rollers are pretty bad too. Mm-hmm. Reynold. I mean, I, I didn't expect anything like pristine to come out of this, but Bauer 25523s. Yeah, this one was late enough to be a Spicer. 17506 438. I'll look at that under better light here in a moment. Actually, given the lighting, I doubt if I'll even be able to read what that pinion says. Now this is actually kind of neat. I can read the pinion markings on an old pinion for once. 957 T114 plus five. So this is an old plus five pinion. Editor Bradley here from the future. Hadn't realized it at the time, but if you look at the top of this differential, which is actually the bottom, there's a nice gray slurry kind of paste all over it. That's metal from the pinion. Yeah. So the pinion looks really nice and shiny and perfect there because it has probably been resurfaced by the rusty pitted gear teeth on that ring gear. Yeah. And it does not look bad. I don't see any pitting on the pinion at all. Maybe it all wore away and that's why it's so loud, I don't know. But that, uh, that actually looks pretty good. But all the crustiness is most definitely coming from inside the axle tubes. All that crud that came out when we drained the fluid, that was just crust from the axle tube. Well, I guess maybe it's worth noting that the uh, the edges of the pinion, they feel sharp and kind of rough. I'm beginning to think that maybe that was the source of all my glitter. It's actually polished away a ton of material from the surface of the pinion. That's why the teeth are so shiny and nice looking. So I don't know. Well, that's about as torn down as I'm gonna do it for today. I'm gonna to leave the oil seals, zerks, and the pinion in for now, and um, ponder what to do. And I'll pass the question to you guys. What do you think? Given the amount of rust and pitting on that ring gear, even though the pinion itself looks pretty shiny and nice, uh, do you guys think I should throw a little money at this one, give it a freshen up, new, uh, new bearings, new races, new seals, uh, maybe a fresh coat of paint and have it around as a spare just in case my rebuild over there isn't actually good. Or should I just let this one go given the aforementioned uh, rust and pitting on the ring gear? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But with that, I think I'll call this good for now. Um, if you liked the video, please leave me a like, leave me a comment. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe and 
depending on what some people say, uh, you might see this thing rebuilt and freshened up as a, a spare to have hanging around. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.